Investing in art is a tricky thing. Focus on making your money back, and you and your artists might just play it safe and make boring work. On the other hand, the investors who give to the most conceptual, innovative work might never see a payback day. So today on Mojarto on Art, we ask, who are the patrons investing in Indian art, and why do they do what they do? Art patronage is about as old as art itself. Men and women have supported the arts, whether it was monarchs commissioning artists to create works that represent a region, or religious institutions bringing artists on board to create timeless works, like Michelangelo's painting at the Sistine Chapel. But art today is taking on a new form, and it's one that is often less physical. These artistic endeavors might not be profitable, but they are essential, and so art patrons become that much more vital. We spoke with Indian art experts, collectors, and patrons about supporting the arts today and the many forms it can take. There are several kinds of collector. There are collectors who collect for the love of collecting, who don't care if the art actually goes up in value or not, because for them, art is not a commodity. Um, the second um, uh, rung and the most popular kind of collectors today are investor collectors who, uh, who buy scientifically based on advice and so on. And then there are the young collectors who have budgets but they're just entering the, the field. Now all these three are very important and very relevant for an art fair and for the art world. Is a private investor or a private institution, are they throwing money at this without expecting a payoff or are they sort of like hedge fund investors who are looking for a payout day eventually? You know, what is their motive and how long can that sustain itself? Yeah, I, I think there is a change now from that sort of short term, you know, making money out of something to actually realizing that uh, taking much more of a philanthrop philanthropic approach. I think this is about long term and I think particularly when it comes to contemporary art, if you have a horizon of two or three years, I think you, you will almost by definition be disappointed. Um, um, so I think you know people are more and more looking at actually it's not so much about investing and then getting something back it's about investing into the uh, I would say again the, 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 the setting the cultural uh, infrastructure the ecosystem in order to make a, a return that maybe will take place 10 15 years from now Kiran Nadar, founder of Kiran Nadar Museum of Art, is one of the most eminent contemporary art patrons in India today. Her support of modern and contemporary artists has led to global recognition of modern masters such as Bhupen Kakkar and Nasreen Malmadi. Well, it's a journey that uh, started, I think, accidentally. I was collecting, uh, I was really not collecting, I was buying for my house that we were building and I had really very little art background but I started really enjoying looking at art and I enjoyed the process of building art collection for the house and showcasing Indian art and soon I had no wall space so I was putting it into storage and somewhere down the line I felt that uh, India needed to build spaces. There was a, a, a lack of museum culture and museum spaces. And I thought if I could showcase my collection in, in a space um, and involve the public to see it, it would be something that would be worthwhile. My advice to young collectors would be to focus on artists of their age, of their generation to grow with those artists. Um, when, I, when, I, when I look back at my, my history in collecting, I actually probably got it wrong because I started collecting senior artists and then somewhere along the line, I couldn't really equate with those artists and I sort of started moving towards younger artists and artists of my age, my generation, and I felt that I could equate much more with them. I could understand where they were coming from and that's really what I would sort of recommend to young collectors today. My advice to any collector is that you have to love what you buy and more importantly you have to live with it on your walls on a daily basis. For me personally, I think art makes a huge impact on my personal space 
and I have to resonate with it. It's a, it's a learning, but you have to love what you buy. I don't know what advice really it is. You have to really look at art and train your eye to be able to decide what you like really, because it's very personal. And yes, I mean, I don't think young people have to sort of, you know, everybody gets a little intimidated because certainly art prices, contemporary art prices are not totally affordable. So you don't have to go with the big names. And there are some very nice young uh, artists uh, around and affordable. Um, seek them out, look around for them and um, train your own self, you know. You know, I think that in India, patronage is, or anywhere, is equated with money. But patronage is also just time. Patronage is also interest. And the fact that anyone who goes to a museum or to an art gallery, to my mind, is a patron in some senses. And I hope that can um, actually be, in some senses, consolidated and encouraged by uh, people in India who have the wealth, who have the resources to create those spaces and to bring those kinds of audiences to life.